Join us in Colombia for the best trip of my life. We explore national parks, mountains, colonial cities, ride horses through the jungles, and everything in between. This country has everything you could dream of as a filmmaker and is truly paradise. Welcome to the Columbia series. First, we need to hop on some planes to get there. Well, good morning my friends. Welcome back to another travel vlog. Today we're heading from Toronto to Atlanta, Georgia for a quick layover. Then we're off to Bogota, Colombia. So if you missed my last vlog, I'm heading to Colombia to visit my girlfriend. We met in Canada, but we've had to go long distance for the last three months, so I'm super excited to see her, and I'm super excited to explore Colombia. It's gonna be my first time in South America, and from what I've seen, this country looks absolutely beautiful and has all the scenes you can imagine and dream of as someone who makes videos. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final morning call for Border Airlines Flight 503 with service to Orlando. Okay, so my flight to Atlanta is about to board, and the layer is only about an hour and 42 minutes, so it's not too bad. We are now almost ready to go, so please take your seat, fasten your seatbelt, and fill your tray to carry your bag. These are all armored and rigged systems. The flight attendant is on board to bring charge across the night and on. made it to Atlanta, Georgia. That first flight went super smooth. We actually flew over to Appalachian Mountains, which was pretty cool to see from above. And now I got about an hour left until my next flight boards. This is also my first time flying Delta and first impressions are pretty good. So one thing I'm super curious about heading to Bogota is how my body is going to react to the elevation. Now I'm an Ontario boy and I've been living pretty much at sea level my whole life. The highest I've ever been was Killington, Vermont and the peak is like nothing compared to where I'm going. And the base elevation at Bogota is 2,800 meters at about 10,000 feet and that's when you can start to feel altitude sickness. So I'm super curious to see how my body's going to react to that. Super grateful and lucky that I actually booked my plane ticket for today because if I would have scheduled my flight for tomorrow there's a good chance I probably wouldn't have made it because the huge hurricane that's ripping up the Gulf of Mexico and the Florida coast is going to be hitting land tomorrow and it's a category 5 hurricane I'm praying for all those in the path and I'm lucky and grateful that I'm flying out today because if it was tomorrow I probably wouldn't have made it to my destination well that layover went way quicker than I anticipated and my flight to Bogota is now boarding so let's grab some water and get on the plane Thank you, welcome to board. Señores pasajeros, la puerta de embarque ha sido cerrada. Necesitamos todos los pasajeros sentados con sus cinturones de seguridad debidamente abrochados. Asientos y mesas de posición vertical. Todo su equipaje completamente guardado en la cinta de suyo. Dispositivos electrónicos deben estar completamente apagados. Welcome to 
in Bogota where the local time is approximately 7 or 6, they have been a one hour time change. Okay, bag secured. Now I'm going to go see my girlfriend for the first time in three months. Now some of you guys probably want to see the reaction, but that's not going to happen. Some moments are just meant for me, so I'll pick up the camera in a little bit. Well, good morning from Colombia. So it is currently day two of my trip. I am at one of the most beautiful locations ever, which I will show you guys in just a second. But I just wanted to fill you in on how the last two days went. So I'm thinking it was altitude sickness. It could have been a mix of a few things, but I had every symptom of altitude sickness. I was dizzy, lightheaded, my hands were tingling. I was super nauseous, puking, and I was just not feeling myself. So I got hit pretty hard and the last 24 hours were very uncomfortable for me. Just now, last night I got a good night's sleep and I'm feeling pretty good. So now I'm probably gonna wrap up this vlog right here, but before I do, let's end it with a little B-roll of this location because <laughs> it's insane. Todo iluminado por el sol Una ventana de ilusión Niños jugando y las flores brotando Y en ese instante parece todo volver adelante Todo iluminado por el sol Una ventana de ilusión Miedo y llanto Una niña buscando entre Gritos y espanto Una madre esperando This property and surrounding area is just an absolute dream. As someone who likes to make cinematic vlogs, this place is just paradise. I'm so grateful to be here with my girlfriend and I can't wait to explore the rest of Colombia. But this is the point where I'm going to wrap up this travel vlog. Be sure to join us next week as we're going to get up to some fun adventures here. Much love guys and I'll see you in the next one.